All right, hello everybody. My name is Luis Cervantes. I'm currently a junior at Penn State University studying computer science, but enough about me. Let's get into this. All right, so what I'm gonna be talking today, I'm gonna be talking about functions and variables. And you guys might be like, okay, like, why, why are these helpful? Like, these are very useful in order to understand the program, how everything works, to be able to manipulate, to be able to just make your program just overall more organized and much nicer. I know that a lot of people just kind of just like look at a video and it's like, okay, but you kind of don't really know what's actually happening. And I and that's that's kind of like the whole purpose of programming. Once you know how everything works and why you're doing things, it makes it really powerful. Okay, so let's get into this. All right, so I'm gonna be talking. Let me delete this. Okay, so okay, so first for variables, there's different types, different type of variables that we could create. Much many 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 there's integers which on, which holds like a real number it can be a decimal or else it's just gonna round it up or round it down it depending so for example we could do int data is equal to one so what this essentially means is that data the variable the name data now has the value one obviously i could make this a hundred okay and then if i do data no plus plus then what this uh so for example let's suppose we do data plus equals i don't know 100. so what this is going to equal now essentially what this is going to make is that data now is going to be the value 200. And it might be like how how is this possible well this is the reason is because data now has the value 100 but then you just add another 100 and that equals 200. so that's essentially what it is you could also create a double this holds decimals and then we're gonna call it data two, okay? And then we're gonna name, I don't know, 56.39. Okay, so now this holds the value 56.39. This is really important for doubles as well. So if, you, if you're really worried about like, okay, I don't wanna waste a lot of memory, for whatever reason, you, you, you just really wanna be an amazing programmer, we're just gonna do float, Float is a much smaller than double. Double is literally the double the size of float, meaning it could hold way more integers. Like it would be really interesting why you would need so much, so much space and memory. But this guy, okay. So data three is equal to I don't know, um, fifty three point. Okay, here's my. Oh. Okay. So you yeah, might be like, okay, oh, oh, what uh, oh, this is weird. Okay, so, okay, so now we can see all of these variables just being used, being everything. But as you guys have seen, we don't really, these don't really matter, but they do in a sense. But what you guys are very interested is in the just like for example the motors everything everything we do so so we're gonna do private so what private means essentially is that so this is gonna be this is a class this is a class okay so think about it as a really fancy function what is a function a function is it's like really a code that really holds much more code so think about it as you're in one room and you open the door and now you're in another room same thing so now you could access, you could call that function many, many, many times. Instead of having to write the same three lines of code. For example, I don't know, let's suppose you have the robot that goes straight and then to the left and it's just the same code every single, and you, you don't wanna write it every single time. What you could do is just create a function and just call it three times, if that's the case, or make a loop, whatever is the case, but that's much better. Private essentially means that like if it's a if this class were to be in a hierarchy, that means that it can be access to it because it's only private to this class. It could be it could be very useful, and then, but we're not here to talk about hierarchies or anything like that. So okay, so now I'm gonna make a servo. I don't know. I'm gonna call it arm, and then I'm gonna equal no. No essentially means that it's just it's empty. It doesn't really have anything. I don't want it to move. I don't want it to do anything. Okay. And obviously, you know, I would declare here and everything, just do the hardware, but that's that's another thing. So now, what what a function is, now we're going to make our own function. So we're going to make a private one. 
private and then we're gonna do a void type so a void type essentially means that it doesn't return anything so in functions you could actually return like a value if you do it of integer type I could return an integer if I do it of a double it will return a double so essentially you can make it whatever you want and just make it return that data type yeah I could even make it a servo oh you know so you, you could just it's make it however you want it, whatever data type it doesn't matter because that's the data type that's going to be returning so now we're going to go to okay back to the void okay void because i'm not returning anything i don't need any information that's going to be happening in the function so we're going to call it moving oh. okay okay so now this function is moving so that's the name of it okay I could I could do whatever I want inside of it. I don't know. I could I could do like a double. Oh, I can't type today. Dog. I don't know. It's equal to ten. And then double cat is equal to eleven. No, forty-four. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do. Uh, Integer, now we're gonna do a double, and then we're gonna do a sum because we want to add them up. So, what I want you guys to essentially be able to understand from this is that is that dog and cat they're not set, they're not defined, they're not like it's not hard coded. It's not obviously you could do you can make a constant variable and all that stuff, but for right now, we want to be able to modify it. So, what I want gonna do is that okay, dog is plus equals mm, 10 okay so now and then so now with the value of dog is 20 because I just added 10 to it and so this this just to explain to you guys how variables work and everything so now I'm gonna do um, sum plus equals um, dog plus cat okay so what this essentially does sum right now just has the value zero so it has nothing to it however when I add it so now it would be 20 plus 44 which is 64 so that would be the value of sum however I don't know for what reason I always just want to add these variables up I always want to get 64 every single time I don't know why I would just always call the function moving and I would and I would call it here in void loop. So essentially, what this is it's a constant constant loop that's always going, 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 going. Unless you press stop, it's gonna stop. However, it's always it's gonna if I put it if I put this function again, it doesn't really it doesn't really make much of a difference in the sense that it's just gonna be called twice in one loop instead of being so it's gonna go it's gonna go inside this function right here, inside wait inside this one right here. And then it's gonna exit out, and then it's gonna go back inside of it, and then it's gonna loop back up, and it's gonna go back in it, and it's gonna loop, 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 loop. It's just gonna go inside the function every single time. So you guys have seen in your guys' controller, if you guys use functions, so when you guys press a button or whatever, it, it first has to go inside that function. It, when you press the button, that function is not called. It goes from top to bottom. It goes to every single function. It's like, hey, hey, is this statement true? Is this statement true? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? And if it's not, well, don't do it. If it is, we'll do it. So that's why sometimes you might have like a little lag on your controller, just in the sense that like whenever you press it, it, it doesn't call the function. It goes from function from top to bottom, and then that's how it is. If it gets to it, it's good. That's why you need to be really careful when you program loops here, because if you write infinite loops, your thing is always gonna be stuck inside that function and it's not gonna move anywhere. It doesn't matter what button you press, nothing, it's always gonna be inside of there. For example, if I were to do a loop that were to be um, while true, and then, so if I were to do that and then I were to do, um, dog plus 10 uh, plus equals, oh can type today okay so dog plus equals 10 so this is good it's just gonna keep on summing it summing it summing it every single time so this is just an infinite loop so this loop this loop right here is essentially kind of equivalent of this one but however this one actually has something to stop because once it stops it calls whatever you put in here 
So, but this one just stops it. It just overrides it. It's just we're done. But however, you guys need to be really, really careful when you guys implement loops, because functions, it's especially inside functions, because functions are called every single time. So now let's do another function. Let's do another function. Private. So it doesn't matter if I if I, I could make it public, because you guys aren't programming hierarchies, you know. So and if you guys are, that's pretty cool. I would really love to see that code. So so we're gonna do public void. And then we're gonna do data. Okay, I'm gonna leave it empty because I don't want to do anything. So now we're gonna do data. So essentially, what this is gonna do is that it's gonna with how this loop work works, it's gonna call, it's gonna first go inside this function, it's gonna do all this math, and then it's gonna go inside this function. Even though it's empty, it's just gonna do nothing. So it's just gonna exit out and it's gonna loop back gonna do it again over and over and over and over and over and this removes the hassle of me always having to be like okay dog plus or equals 10 okay and then like obviously like I would declare the variable in here and then uh, and then just making it over and over and over and over and over instead I could just call this function many 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 times you know so it just it's really good programming Personally, I would say use functions. They're very useful, very powerful. So this is just a quick little video to demonstrate you guys how functions work, what functions really are. It's just essentially think about it. It's much more simple. It organizes your code. When you guys are going for the the program award, this is very, really, very, very useful. It's amazing seeing like people use functions because functions make your code really clean. If people could read your code, that's that's really good programming because if your code is super complicated that nobody just all in one 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 in the loop it's really hard to debug you could have one that's just like okay go side to side and then okay it's not moving side to side let's go check that function so you guys need to be so that's essentially what it is and uh, however you guys need to make sure that whenever you guys um declare your guys's functions that it's always inside the class i can if i were to make a function like out here public uh, void cat you see it doesn't it doesn't really it doesn't really compile it's not really nice it doesn't like it so what I would advise you guys is to always do it inside your inside your your public class right here so whatever it is mine's called just motor arms well, yours will be whatever the name of the file is called so you could as well make another class if you don't really don't like that one. So public class um, test and then x extends motor arm. So obviously we we don't have to extend it. <laughs> so. Uh, okay, so this is this is all what you guys would do to just extend the class, but in this situation, it doesn't really like it. But in the because it's it's not the same programming as just program normal Java, it works a little bit different. But however, at the end of the day, it's basically the same thing. So I hope that you guys, I know this tutorial was probably really fast, and you guys were like, you know what happened. But functions are really really powerful. Use functions. Functions are really gonna help you guys in your guys' programs, it's gonna make it much easier to debug. So use all these tools. And I hope you guys really liked the video, when it was really quick and really fast, and I had to go through it just so I wouldn't bore you guys to death. But thank you for watching, and I hope you guys liked the video.